This is what if uh, Deku had, or Fem Deku had absor an absorption quirk. <sighs> Oops, bad. Okay, so, ah, damn it. Okay, we're gonna skip to the first day of UA. Aizawa takes Izumi in early because Aizawa wanted to get there early and hide to see if anybody had the ability and extreme qualifications for being a top tier hero. When the students finally arrive, only one person noticed Aizawa and Bakugo was the only person who noticed Aizawa. And he noticed Aizawa. He he did a hand sign, like the Ambu hand signs for Naruto. He did a hand sign, and Aizawa popped his hand out of the caterpillar mode and did a hand sign back, saying, Shut the hell up and don't give me away. And Izumi, seeing this hand sign, started to giggle. Because she thought it was a little funny. And then when. Like 10 minutes after class starts. Izumi's like. Why does everybody just shut the hell up. So the teacher can start. And. She somewhat has a Bakugo personality. When she's not doubting herself. Or being un. Or being paranoid. Yes Jack. You're very fluffy. And yes, she does look like this in the school. There's no mandatory dress code in UA in this one. There's... And she looks like this. So... Everybody's like, wait, the teacher's not even here yet. <laughs> Yumi says, you're all idiots then, because the teacher's been here the entire time. Isn't that right, Dad? And when she said Dad, all of a sudden, what looked like a caterpillar stood up. And everybody was freaking out. Mineta yelled, what the hell is that? And Izumi used some of her manipulation and basically shocked Mineta. Mineta wondering what the hell happened because he got shocked. Just looked around and thought he was going crazy. And Aizawa got out of caterpillar, caterpillar mode and yelled, shut the hell up. It took you guys more than 10 minutes to calm down and quiet down for class. That's not acceptable. This happens again. You are all expelled. Except for, and he points to Izumi, Izumi for being quiet. And Bakugo for also being quiet. Then he points to Bakugo. And then he says, they're also not being expelled because they noticed me. Well, Izumi got here at the same time I did. So she kind of had to notice me. And Bakugo got here after, but still noticed me. <coughs> And everybody else is still reeling from the shock of him actually being their teacher. And he goes, I'm Shota Aizawa. I am also the pro hero named Eraserhead. And I want you guys to put these on. And he throws the PE clothes to everybody. Then he says... Go to the changing room, change, and meet me out on the uh, training ground. And Izumi immediately walks out of class, heading towards the training ground. When she gets into the changing room, she doesn't even change. She just puts her, her jacket that was on top of her clothes in the locker and walks out. 
And she starts stretching. Aizawa, who just got out there, says, You really are already breaking the rules. And she goes, I don't know where those have been. I'll wear them next time. I need to clean them first. And he goes, oh, Fine. <sighs> Damn paranoia. And she goes, no, not paranoia. I uh, remember I'm a clean freak, right? right? And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's next? Become a schizophrenic? She goes, schizophrenia could be a quirk side effect. You never know. He goes, yeah, I never know. So, when everybody else gets out there, everybody except Mineta, and Izumi is wondering where Mineta is. She says, I'm going to go check real quick, and I'll be right back. And Aizawa goes, okay, I trust you to check and then come right back. So she goes to the women's, the girls' locker room. The guys, all the guys came out. The girls haven't come out yet. She goes to the girls' locker room and sees that Jiro's earphone jack is currently connected to the wall. And she goes, I suggest you pull that out. And she goes, why? She goes, I'm about to do something. And she walks up to Momo and says, I need to borrow something from you real quick. And she pokes Momo and Momo feels a sharp pain because her... Because Izumi's pinky is shown from the gloves she's wearing. She poked Momo. And Izumi's face starts going really red. Because she's freaking out slightly that she just touched somebody that hasn't been cleaned. And, or, no, she starts to look like um, Overhaul when he gets touched. And he's, since he's a germaphobe. And yes, she always has a mask on, like Overhaul, but her mask does not look like a bird. It looks like a gas mask. <clears throat> so she walks over to the wall and uses, while Momo's clenching her teeth in pain, she uses Momo's quirk to make cocking. And she fills up the hole, and the cocking spills out on the other side, then she turns off the quirk and... Walks up to Momo and pokes her again, and and she starts freaking out a little bit more and runs to the sink and starts scrubbing her pinky furiously. And they note, all the girls note, that she's a germaphobe, and that she hates touching people, and that her quirk relies on her touching people. And she walks out, and she says that there was a hole in the changing room, and she, caught, and she uh, closed it up. And Aizawa goes, that's why Mineta's still there. He's a perv. And Mineta comes out, cursing his luck that someone closed the hole and that he couldn't do anything about it. And he's saying this under his breath, and Izumi could hear the whole thing. So she used one of her manipulations to start a fire on his clothes. And Bakugo, also hearing this whole thing, knows that he's about that Mineta's about to be caught on fire for being a pervert. And all of a sudden everybody smells smoke and they look at where it's coming from and Mineta's currently on fire. Everybody says, Mineta, you're on fire, and he looks around and sees that he is actually on fire. So he starts freaking out and rolling around and Aizawa seeing that Izumi is trying super hard not to laugh, says Izumi, stop the fire now. And she goes, fine. And she stops the fire, then Mineta gets up and is cursing his luck for her. what just happened. And everybody looks at Izumi, who's 
currently pouting because she didn't have any more fun with a pervert. And Azawa says, okay, the person with the highest score is Izumi Aizawa. And everybody looks at her like, like she just grew another head. She goes, what? I did say dad in there, didn't I? Oh, except Bakugo. He's, he knows all this already. So she walks into the circle, cocks her arm back, and chucks the ball, and uses her quirks. The quirks that she's gotten from all for one and the here and the villains that were hard to control. So oh, damn it. Yeah, I I I am gonna try to stop saying so so much. Aizawa checks the meter and says, This is a new record for you. And he says it's a new record of 3,492 meters. And Izumi says, Oh, I was going for 4,000. <laughs> and Bakugo laughs, saying, You'll never get to 4,000 at this rate. And Izumi is like, Shut up, Kotsky. <clears throat> You'll never even get close to me. And Kotsky is like, You sure about that? And he didn't tell her, but he was the one who inherited One for All. So he walked up there and he activated One for All and Izumi saw this and was like, so he's the one All Might chose. Wait, he's the one All Might chose? So he threw the ball and he got 3,111.11. He's like, damn it, I was going for more than you. He didn't say die this time. No. Well, no, he did say die. He did say die. And yes, his hero name is still going to be Ground Zero. I just don't know what Izumi's name is going to be. A hero's name going to be. I have to think. But. They do the grip strength. Izumi crushes it. Bakugo crushes it. Shoji crushes it. They do the sprint. Izumi. Seconds. Bakugo. Izumi is a... Is... 2.11 seconds. Ida, 3.24 seconds. And Bakugo, 3.25 seconds. And everybody else gets cannon. And the final score is Izumi, Bakugo, Todoroki, Momo, and so on. And everybody's asking, like, Izumi, what is your quirk? And she goes, uh, I, I just have a manipulation quirk. And she's like, everybody's getting close to me just for my quirk. I'm not going to actually be my friends. And, the, and everybody else is thinking, I want to be her friend. She has a cool quirk. But I still want to be her friend. She seems nice. So Aizawa, Aizawa says, it, today is the day you guys move into the dorms. I shall show you your dorm, dorm assigned rooms, and Izumi shall, shall shall show you the way to the dorms. And he says, Izumi, lead them to the dorms. I'll be there in a few minutes. Aizawa goes to the classroom. Izumi leads them to the dorms. And he, Izumi says, I, 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 I... And she starts stuttering and doubting herself, and... Bakugo sees this and is like, oh, God. But it's not because she's nervous. Well, it is because she's nervous, but she's not doubting herself this time. 
she sees someone that she thinks is cute. I'm changing two people in class 1A. The tail dude is now Hawks and Invisible Girl is now Mount Lady. And then she sees I'm going to kind of make I'm going to make her buy in this one. And she doesn't know her sexuality, so she isn't attracted to anybody because she hasn't been attracted to anybody yet. And when she sees Hawks and Mount Lady in the uniforms completely, she starts stuttering and getting choked up. And and Bakugo's like, oh god, she's getting nervous again. And so Bakugo pulls her aside and asks what's wrong. And Izumi says, I don't know, my heart just started beating faster and I don't know. And, and she starts describing the feeling and he's like, what the hell is wrong with you? That's love. You have a crush on someone there. And she goes, wait, what? And she starts freaking out even more or because the crush may not like her and she they might not see her as or see her for her and just see her quirk and she starts freaking out even more and Bakugo finally is done with this so he pinches her on the arm and says stop freaking out everybody wants to be your friend to be your friend I know what you're thinking because I've been around you long enough and she starts calming down he says go to your room and listen to it to the song and the song is the one I played last episode. I'm going to try to finish. I'm going to finish the redo of Monster. What if uh, Deku was a monster from Evolve? Oh, this is the end of the episode, by the way. This is a very short episode compared to what I normally do. But I'm doing What If Deku Was a Monster tomorrow. I'm going to try to finish up what if Naruto is a kitsune in the next... No, I'm taking that to the war arc. That's going to be a week-long project for me. Um, I'm going to try to finish Nezuko. Uh, or get back on Nezuko and finish other stuff. So... Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.